Well, hello, folks, and welcome to another session of The Outer Wilds. Echoes of the Eye. I uh, took a day or two off. Don't remember exactly what I was doing last time. I do remember I chased down... I chased down that probe, but where the fuck did it go? Did it actually shoot through the planet this time? That's kind of hilarious. My brain is like, uh oh. Something changed in the Matrix. There's been a glitch. It didn't fire a probe this time, but it still blew up. What happened? Unfortunately, nothing happened. No, that's right. Now that I think about it, I believe I was... Going to this place. That's right, I had figured out how to get down beneath the current, which wasn't actually that difficult. Partially because I made some good decisions. Occasionally I'm a good detective, not all the time. And this might actually be bad. I like that. Like a glove. So... Where is... I think it was that one. In my mind, I think of Australian tornadoes twisting the opposite way. I don't know if they do down there or not. That did not work. We... I'm gonna, I'm gonna get motion sick game. I've been on the edge of motion sickness a couple times throughout this series. It's, uh, one of my problems with first-person shooter game. So, that one... Did I choose, choose the right one? I mean, this one is rotating a different direction than all the others. Right? No? Did I just get really lucky that last time? Apparently, maybe it wasn't based on rotation at all. Let's see, that one sucks things up. I, I didn't look at what direction it was rotating. I feel like I've went down both rotations at this point. I know what I could do. Okay, so... That one went up. Say this one, maybe? I'm gonna spend this entire video making terrible decisions. There we go. Now, if I'm not mistaken, uh, that that force field won't necessarily kill me, but I think those jellyfish were not very friendly, and these are the things that we saw frozen in the the um, stone up top. So, what the hell is that? Can I go down through this? Apparently, not that way. What if I... Is it coming back up? It is coming back up. I need to... I feel like I need to observe these things. There's another one on the way up. What was that little blank circle right there? Oh, is it lighting up just because I'm close to it as well? I saw that circle down there. I'm really 
really curious what these things are. Will they kill me if I touch them? Let me go up and grab the tail. I guess I'm gonna swim through it. Okay. I mean, I was expecting it to kill me, but let's see. I'm gonna see if this thing will protect me on the way through. I honestly don't know. I can't see! Trying to get low enough so I can see when we uh, There we go. Okay, now the force field is lighting up. This is probably a terrible idea on my part. But these things are here for a reason, and I don't think it's just to be beautiful. Oh my god, that, that worked. I don't know what the fuck that is. That is creepy. I hate things underwater. Have I mentioned? Okay. I actually wish I had like a heart rate monitor hooked up right now. Spooky. I think this is what we were looking through at one point. If I'm not mistaken. I can't believe all that actually worked. Oh boy, okay. That's it. Anyway. Pressure differential. So, this place is kind of foobar. How do I get you going again? Gonna spend as much time as I possibly can in here. Okay. If I don't find anything, it won't be long. Hey, <laughs> how's it going? What do we have? Ash Twin Projection Stone. I don't want to look through yet. Also, I feel like I've had my microphone in a terrible position this whole time. So, Yero, I have exciting news. Privet, the Ash Twin Project is almost prepared to receive the probe data from the Orbital Probe Cannon. Raimi is adding some finished touches here, but she'll be finished soon. Are you in the orbital probe cannon well? Rivet. We are! The statue here in the probe tracking module is ready to record each launch's flight trajectory. It will automatically transmit all relevant data to you. Rivet. On the other appendage, I'm now worried about this cannon's structural integrity and its crew's moral integrity. Once the probe determines the location of the eye of the universe, I'll send you an alert directly. I'll send an alert directly to you and Raimi. Okay. More updates, launch module, projection stone. Hey, another statue. So I wanna insert this. Is this gonna be the spooky one? No, oh, that's right. We've been here many videos ago at this point. If I take that... I feel like I've already done some of this too, but maybe not. Malo. Imagine, Privet! The probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the Eye of the Universe. You'll be the first to see them. I am honored and terrified. You won't ask the orbital probe cannon to use so much power. Yeah, see, I feel, I know, I feel like we've read this. I only need to fire it once be capable of receiving the data if it's destroyed. But it begs the question, why exactly did I come here? What is here that I didn't already know about? Ash Twin Projection Stone. This is probably it. Now we've seen through this spooky one too. Is that yeah so 
Yeah, yeah I'm just, I, I don't know. It's just spooky. Oh, that doesn't really help me. I don't think I should carry these things out of here. Probably no point in that. Fluctuations. It doesn't say anything about unknown signals, so... Yeah, I'm kind of at a loss then as to why I would come to this place. Game, if you don't stop flipping me around automatically. Let's just get out of here for now. I don't want to spend all my time in here. We've seen all of this already, I feel like. Had like one ship log updated. Oh, come on. That was actually pretty neat. Get pushed back by the water. We had one ship log get updated, so... Well, we'll see what that's about at some point. Well, then, let me... Just swim along this thing. It's like the core brain stem of the world here. Fuel spine, oxygen spine. And there's not really anywhere else for me to go. Confirming it for myself. I'm not going back inside, I just want to check this place out. Okay. Oh, hey, what's this? Hey, this is the type of stuff I'm looking for, stuff I might actually miss. Are you just a piece of interesting debris, you bastard? Get my hopes up for mystery data. So, there's my ship. I'm gonna, yeah, we're just gonna spend a little bit more time down here, I guess. Check out the end of all of these limbs. Make sure I'm not missing anything up here. Spooky as it all is. I feel like I can follow some of these quite a ways. Like, don't you just expect these things to reach out and grab you, or is that just me? Wrap themselves around your leg. One point three kilometers away. Well, At this point, I am still at a loss. Probably should start heading back to my ship, though. I think my oxygen last three more minutes. I get my warning soon. And I don't know if I can swim straight up through this without having issues. Okay, down, down we go. I guess I got to go down and cross over. This is completely disorienting, by the way. Am I even allowed to get closer to my ship until I break through? Probably not. Come here, jellyfish. From hell. So these jellyfish protect us from electricity. Among other things. Did it I think it actually Did it eat me? Am I dying? Oh fuck. Okay. <laughs> that was incredibly spooky for a second. Where's my ship at? 
Chip, did you get sucked up into into space by a fucking tornado? Are you fly are you orbiting without me right now? It's kind of disheartening. <laughs> Three minutes oxygen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can't really fly on this planet either because of the additional gravity. Remember. So, this is fucked. Uh, I really, it, it would be really nice if they gave me a cyanide tablet. Before, before everyone goes into space, we install a fake tooth filled with cyanide just in case you get trapped somewhere. Trust me, it's better to pop the tooth than to just, you know, die of dehydration. Also interesting that I uh, am not replenishing my O2, despite the fact I am on an O2 rich world. Come on, tornado. Take me to space. Take me somewhere? I can't even break the water surface. I'm gonna be trapped here. Here we go. Take me up, throw me into space. I don't know if you can give me an orbit or not. How did my my ship got thrown in oh fuck. I didn't think I was gonna be able to get to orbit. Well this sucks! Trying to match velocity with your own spaceship. 60 seconds oxygen. Hmm. Well. I wouldn't be too upset. Like, how did it even get in that orbit right there? You know what? I kind of think that Gabbro stole my spaceship. Come here, Twister. And get like one more shot at this. I can't even get close enough. Come on. Are you telling me you don't have the suck? Ship. I am not even getting any closer to you, really. Go, come here. Well, folks. It was fun, this run, but hell, this is going to be a, a short video, apparently. Oh, man. So I have no idea what the point of that planet's center is. We saw a statue there, but its eyes didn't do anything. There, were, there wasn't any real information that I felt like we uncovered. But we'll check the ship's log next video and uh, find out what it says. Duh.